Do you love a good corned beef dinner like I do? Well, if you want a quick way to make that this St. Patty's Day, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Hey guys, it's EJ and welcome back to the channel. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner. And for that, I wanted to share my very easy, simple crock pot corned beef dinner. This recipe allows you to throw some stuff in a pot first thing in the morning, go out and enjoy a St. Patrick's Day parade or however you decide to celebrate. And then when you get home, your meal is done. All right, let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need one three and a half to four pound corned beef brisket, one and a half to two pounds of potatoes, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, two cups of beef broth. You can use either regular beef broth or bone broth. I prefer bone broth as it offers a deeper flavor and better nutritional value. One cup of Guinness, one small cabbage, 20 to 30 baby carrots, and one ounce of Irish whiskey. In terms of total prep, this one's easy. You're just going to cut up your cabbage into big chunks. I like to just remove that top layer. And you're gonna cut this roughly into eighths. And you're gonna set that aside for now. In a small bowl or mixing container, we need to create our roasting liquid. So to a mixing bowl, we will add one cup of Guinness. Make sure you save that extra for yourself. Two cups of the beef bone broth. Going to add one ounce of Irish whiskey. Again, keep an extra little bit for yourself. Add a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. And mix that up until the sugar is all dissolved. And set that aside. Now to our crock pot, we'll add three of the cabbage quarters roughly broken up. You're gonna to wanna to add your beef brisket, and when you do that, make sure you place it fat side up. With your beef brisket, you likely got a seasoning packet. You're gonna to wanna to open that and just put it over your beef brisket directly. Next, add your potatoes. Add your carrots. And finally, top with the remaining cabbage. We're just gonna pour in our wet mixture that we made earlier. Cover. And set to low for 10 hours. The secret to this recipe is time. So make sure you give it the full 10 hours. And after 10 hours, we're just going to move this to warm. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah. This next step is 100% optional and not traditional, but I like to do it because I think it adds a ton of flavor. So with the finish, you're gonna take out one cup of the liquid. And into that cup, you're just gonna take some instant gravy, one packet. Just gonna mix that up. And we're gonna add it to a sauce pot. Follow the directions on your packet, but for mine, you just have to boil it for one minute. Okay, let's serve this up. Potatoes, this part. There it is. Now the final bit with that gravy we made. Again, 100% optional, not traditional. Let's give this a go. Actually, we need one more thing. All right, that's my super and easy to make St. Patrick's Day dinner. If you like recipes like this, follow along by subscribing to the channel below, and I'll see you next time.